Ladies and gentlemen, we have such an exciting video to record today. These are my favorite type of videos to react to. We're reacting to all the world records in Mario Kart Wii that include glitches and ultra shortcuts. We did this before primarily for the ultra shortcuts, but now we have to add the glitches into the mix because there's a brand new category on GCN Mario Circuit. Here is Logan performing the new GCN Mario Circuit glitch. You are, be you are able to skip the entire U-turn and land back on the main track and get two low tricks. And speaking of the low tricks, here we have a double trick. I mean, this lap was just one of the most insane laps I've ever seen of any track in Mario Kart Wii, 27.454 on GCN Mario Circuit. And normally we see 30 second laps on this track. So that is ridiculous. The new shortcut is busted. Look at this, holding right and then wheelie mushrooming. It's just so weird to see holding right and reversing at the same time. Allows the vehicle to get this weird sort of bounce. And then ultimately you're holding down diagonal right. It looks like when you're gonna be clipping the wall and then pretty much all the way down when you're trying to get over the invisible wall. That is just so cool. I just can't believe this is possible. Nick told me and me told me that Logan got the fast lap world record last year, which means that the three lap category was inevitable. So it is so cool to see it just I mean, what even is that lap? I can't believe my eyes. And then halfway through lap two, already out of mushrooms, completely changes the category. You have to drive a shroomless lap three. So really mixes things up. And Logan already had the world record before for this track for no glitch. So how cool is it to beat your own world record and get an extra world record added to the mix? So that doesn't happen very often. I don't know if, when that happened last, if that's even ever happened. But now we get to watch the streamless lap. What does it look like to go around the chain chomp at world record level? Check this out. A little grass hop right there, getting a little bit of air, rail riding, and it looks good. So this run is incredible now. And the thing is, is it's gonna go down another second because the driving, there's a lot of wheelie turning here, a lot of time loss. And then the ending wasn't optimal either. As you'll see, there was a mistake. So uh, a lot of time loss ended up just barely beating the no glitch world record, but the no glitch world record is so perfect. So it's really tough to beat. You can see how close that was. We're starting with the heavy hitters first. We'll get into the other tracks later, but now we have Rainbow Road. And I'm sure all of you have heard of this by now, but the new outside drift bike world record strategy right here, Let's watch this again. This is by Justin, and Justin discovered it and now has the world record with it. And use two mushrooms. You can do this with one mushroom. We'll see this done twice in a run eventually, but that is just so amazing. And just getting the wheelie off and drifting and then bonking in that direction, shooting forward, like the physics in this game, they never cease to amaze me. It shows how much further the game can go. People are always finding new ways to get airtime or clip through invisible walls or even fall boundaries altogether. And it just really opens up the game up for more exploitation. And sometimes you're combining different methods of glitching together to find new glitches. I mean, it feels like anything is possible at this point with 21 tracks having a glitch category. Maybe one day all 32 will, or maybe 30 of 32. So uh, it is the second world record now to have outside drift in Mario Kart Wii. Shy Guy Beach is the other one using the exact same method. So I mean, outside drift bikes completely have revolutionized Mario Kart Wii for the tool assist scene. They're gonna take over pretty much every world record. Outside drift will reign supreme with the uh, tool assist just because of rapid fire and the super hopping and all that. I would not be surprised if we see another ultra shortcut using this method. We already have Shy Guy Beach, we have Rainbow Road, this is much better than the Quacker method, also much easier. A lot more people have made this shortcut. In fact, I actually just wanna watch this one more time. Look at this. This is so close to failing. Like, literally back wheel is hitting the white part of Rainbow Road. Not even the rainbow portion of the road was touched. Also, I'm going to be putting every single one of these links into the description for those of you who want to watch the runs uninterrupted since I'm doing so much like fast forwarding and rewinding, especially when the glitches show up. So here we have Logan once again. This is the Toad's Factory box clip. Absolutely one of the coolest shortcuts ever discovered in the game. One of, one of those things that I cannot believe is possible. It's something to show people who haven't played the game in a long time. It's like one of the first shortcuts I'll show someone if uh, the shortcut conversation comes up. It always amazes people. It still amazes me when I see it today. And it's a really tough shortcut. It's one you're not gonna see people doing online. And the funniest thing about the category is the mistakes that are made on purpose. And it is to fix the alignment so you can actually clip the box on that too and maybe there's a better way to do it that would be tougher to optimize. 
and maybe one day we'll see this category have three box clips in some way. They'll, they'll figure out a way to do it. But for now, can't really beat this. That was a perfect ending to the box clip. And then just you're going to see some flawless driving for the next lap and a half. I wonder if there's a way to not have to slow down at the end of lap one and then like maybe do the glitch on lap three instead. I wonder if there's a way to do that. Because right now it is so funny seeing like slow down on purpose. I've never really seen that on a world record just to get the timing of something. This, this is such a strange world record now. And what is the time down to? 144.308. So it's like five seconds faster than the no glitch category. And I really wish that glitch was a little easier, but regardless, I'm still glad it exists. It's always amazing how low they go on the shroomless cut too. Yep, and pretty solid lead, gets the low trick, sticks the landing perfectly, 144.308. We're moving on to the flower cup. Here we go, we're going backwards. This is a three glitch run, and I love how different the glitch looks on lap one. That looks insanely hard, I don't know, I've never actually done this glitch before in that method, and it is really cool to see how you clip the post and immediately just shoot down like that, saves so much time. Now we're clipping the trees. This glitch has been so optimized. I remember the olden days of this glitch and now like just the way that works, not having to go back inside the tunnel to hit the key checkpoint, this record looks so much cooler than it used to. Like every time you have to go backwards in a world record it always looks extra jank, but like this just looks clean now. There's only the part where you go backwards at the very beginning instead of always having to trigger it inside the tunnel. So uh, it looks like the alignment at the end was a little rough, but the rest was absolutely insane. I can imagine the nerves after making the glitch at the end of lap two. Oh my gosh. This is Brinkson. And this time is like almost a second faster than second worldwide or what the previous world record was. I mean, this was like an insane world record at the time. I don't know how long it's gonna be until someone beats this one. And this is one of the goofiest categories in the game, Coconut Mall Glitch. And one of the craziest things about it is going past the finish line, spin drifting, and then triggering the start of lap two and lap three later, and still following the 95% rule, of course, to get the lap counts, but just driving the weirdest lap ever. Not even going to like that first key checkpoint. It just, it just works in the middle like that. It looks super weird. 31. 0.809 by Pollo, a Spanish player who had the world record on this track like 13 or 14 years ago. I'm not kidding. When I saw this name show up, I had to double take. I didn't even think my eyes were seeing <laughs> the correct thing. Pollo plays Mario Kart Wii still. That's so cool. So a blast of the past, kind of like when we also had McRaren come back on the same track after seven or eight years. This was even more surprising. So. We're gonna be Funky Kong on this world record for probably forever. I think the Luigi days are over, unfortunately, but an incredibly quick 31.809. And it's funny, because Coconut Mall is 31.311, and this is 31.809. I can't believe Coconut Mall is actually faster than Goldmine. That's ridiculous. Koopa Cape looks great now. There's no going backwards at the beginning. It's incredible how they're doing the glitch at the end here. And it's just gonna be a one glitch run since you have to use a mushroom and unfortunately, you have to fall off for this glitch. So, it's a spear track now, which is really interesting. It really makes it feel more like a glitch and get to watch some spear lines here. By, uh, by Key, defeated Lawrence's world record. It looks like we're facing the former world record here on the Ghost, which I always love watching the replays and the comparisons. It really adds to it in general. But anyway, be sure to subscribe to MKW Records. I'm gonna put every single video link inside the description and also MKW Records channel, which most of these were watching it on that channel and they put the input viewer on the bottom left. It looks incredible, like that helps you. You can always look at the bottom left corner and see the exact inputs the world record holders are doing on every single second of the track, teach you, learn any glitch, shortcut, or strategy in Mario Kart Wii just like that. It's incredible, so super useful channel, and yeah, Koopa Cape glitch, we're looking at a 17.991 second lap. That is just stupid. But overall, everything else really clean. That wheelie perfectly led, stayed in the water current, and just a little bit of unluckiness there with the zapper location. 
but landing on the back wheel, cutting it inside, making the spear look like the flame runner, and I don't know if that's the best way to do the ending. I am not a Koopa Cape expert, but 157,900, those are some sweet digits. And now let's move on to Maple Tree Way. <laughs> I think I've seen every single one of these world records. I love watching Glitch World Records, and some of them I haven't seen in months, other ones I've seen super recently like Rainbow Road and GCM Mario Circuit, which those two blow my mind. The fact that we have two game-breaking glitches discovered this year in 2023 in Mario Kart Wii, this is the game, uh, it's the gift that keeps on giving, honestly. Like, what's next? What does 2024 have in store for us? What does the rest of 2023 have in store for us? It it's insane, guys, it's insane. GCM Mario Circuit got me hyped. That is the whole reason we decided to make this video. I had to show you guys that. And, I mean, Maple Treeway, look what they do now. Uh, they put their back wheel over the edge of the out of bounds, so therefore the back wheel is inside of the ground, and then you're able to, when you mushroom wheelie, you get that little bounce, because it's kind of like custom tracks, and when you're shooting above the ground again, it, it, it just springs you up, and that allows you to make the shortcut much easier, and I wish I knew that when I was playing this category. That would have saved me a lot of time. Oh, hit the hit the tree I saw that's that's not a huge mistake because of the trick boost but that's still 0.3 or 0.4 seconds I'd say and it's a race just to do that glitch as quickly as possible it still looks tough and I don't think this will be beat for a while just because you know you still got to get the maple treeway glitch three times still <laughs> gonna take a lot of practice a lot of attempts and just the entry for the glitch is tough so it's more like doing nine glitches because you got to do the part after the cannon too and I see safe lines. I do not blame Dez whatsoever. Three for three on Maple Tree Way, ladies and gentlemen. It's been done. There's so many things that have been done that I never thought we'd see done by humans, and this game has a long ways to go. That is one thing I've learned. An Australian world record. This is uh, Jiran. I think that is how you pronounce it. Be beating Miyake. And really cool to see an Australian have a world record in Mario Kart Wii. There was a long time that that was not the case, and that is not the case anymore. 15.497 on Grumble. I don't think we'll ever see another track have a world record that is less time than that, than that. and this has been completely perfected. My favorite part by far is just the entry to the rock. Just That is a ridiculous maneuver, and then hitting the wall to slow themselves down on purpose. It's a beautiful 15 seconds. Now we're going to Fox's channel, Special Cup, Bowser's Castle, and this is not an ultra shortcut, but it is the extremely popular online shortcut. We see people do, do it all the time, especially Daisy Mock Bike players, but this is a world record that is on Flame Runner now, and we're looking at three for three, Shroomless Glitch, and incredible lines. So, I mean, Fox was the best player in the world for a while. I wanna say like 2016, 2017, that era, Fox had the most world records, and it had been at least three years since Fox had set a world record. So seeing this, Fox back on time trials, getting world records in 2023, incredible. It was a blast of the past and nostalgic for me. And Bowser's Castle is just one of the coolest tracks just to watch world record runs in general. So, I mean, look at this. Like the, the track, you, you have to constantly be so attentive. You have to get all these low tricks and there's so much tech at all times. So. I really love seeing this, and who knows what Fox is going to do next, I mean Fox can literally do anything in this game, so excited to see it, and this is a 208.813 now, so it's going to be really, really, really hard to see a sub, like a sub 208 at any point, but I mean, I would not put it past these Mario Kart time trialers, it seems like they can do just about anything, and I am never fully surprised anymore, I'll put it that way. Alright, that was a better stair section than last lap, didn't get the unlucky bounce, and that always scares me, that that part of the level right at the end there where you have to get the wheelie going into the geysers. I, there's so many times where I press the wheelie button and I don't get the wheelie, but you have to time it right because it's really bouncy right there. And switching the pillars, getting the triple trick, landing in a slip, and then we're going to get the uh, little bit of air on the stairs here, but landing into a slip again. Nothing too crazy there like the no glitch world record where they do the low trick but I imagine the focus right now is on the glitch. The glitch is not easy streamless, especially a flame runner. I've never been good at it. And oh my gosh, just barely clears it, barely misses the ball. This is, oh, that was so, uh, that, that, that was so parkour right there. And okay, the wheelie did not come out that quickly. There only needs two tricks at the end. Gets the record by like 100 milliseconds. 
it was extremely close. Retro tracks, we have Guy on Peach Beach, and this is a two glitch world record. I think that eventually we will see a three glitch world record on this track. I'm not kidding. I think maybe one day someone will clip off the palm tree at the beginning there, like three or four palm trees in. I've seen the tool assist do it. I don't know how difficult it is. It's gotta be tough to do a completely different glitch than the already current near impossible one. The Peach Beach glitch is not easy, guys. And I remember it giving me uh, some trouble when I was trying to make it for a shortcut montage video. One thing I forgot to mention that I wanted to talk about earlier when we were at the beginning of the video was on GCM Mario Circuit. That glitch, I tried to make it for like almost an hour when I was making the YouTube short called uh, like the top 10 legal shortcuts of Mario Kart Wii. I tried to get the GCM Mario Circuit one. So I was on Dolphin trying it over and over again, trying to do it exactly how Logan was doing it. And I would get so much air, but I would always hit the invisible wall up, up top. I was never able to clear the invisible wall. And there were so many times where I thought I was gonna get it and I didn't get it. So I gave up and never was able to do it. So that is just crazy. The fact that it is in a world record now. This one's so cool. It's, it's a double glitch and it involves like going backwards. I mean, this is just so stupid. I love it. So this is something like I did on an Olympics video. I didn't quite do that angle, but I remember like clipping that block and getting back on the track. And I never thought that would actually be in a world record run. Such an amazing glitch. And that was actually already an ultra shortcut because even though it hit multiple key checkpoints, it didn't hit the first key checkpoint. So even just doing the very first glitch made it an ultra, but now it's like a double ultra shortcut. <laughs> it's so crazy. And the rest is just basic uh, Ghost Valley 2 driving, you know, some spin drifts and, oh, didn't get the slip there. Okay, so that was a little bit of a mistake, but not too much of one because it didn't have to do the mushroom shortcut. So the alignment was okay for the shroomless. And, oh, spin drift to end it. Yep, not going for the low trick but getting the sub 49992, wow, that is insane. This Sherbet Land world record, 112.225 by Jack, it's the world record by like over two seconds. So here we go, doing the glitch, and then not having to back up, just being in the perfect location, going for it, and just like that, a 1.3 second lead. Loving the nunchuck inputs on the bottom left, that looks crisp. And Mushroom here, saving it. Of course, because, you know, one mushroom doesn't mean you can land back on the track with the magic cruiser, I think. I, I know there are certain vehicles that can get back on the track with one mushroom you, doing the glitch. I'm not sure if the magic cruiser can do it. If the magic cruiser can, then this track is always going to be a magic cruiser track. But we're going to see a respawn glitch here, and it's all about the speed of the glitches and the landings for this track. But the driving is looking really nice, no glitch. No sign of nerves whatsoever everything clean and then gotta obey the 95 percent rule going forward a bit there and nose diving so confident that he got enough and then you just do that weird oh look at that oh my gosh that was so good let's watch this part impressed me the most of anything in the entire run this little turnaround look how good this is i'm so used to see seeing like two standstill meter turbos that was so good. It's like five hops and a drift. Way more efficient, way cooler looking. We got the Zip Zip. The Zip Zip finally getting some love here in Mario Kart Wii as the Zip Zip has the world record on Shy Guy Beach. Well, what is this game? I, I can't get over this. Okay, so uh, who, who is this? Vincent? Yeah, I think this is Vincent 114, 513, Vincent N. And, you know, we, ha we have Daisy and the Zip Zip, which has a good off road stat. We are seeing that demonstrated here gets the low trick really clean no glitch lap when you're ahead of luke you know things are going well for you and then now we have of course the glitch oh no it's on lap three never mind it has been a while since i've seen this one and here we go new stream spot that's the ultra shortcut ladies and gentlemen across the grass and now we have another shortcut later the crab almost cost to or posed to be a threat there but uh Look at that ultra shortcut, guys. Let's go back right here. The outside drift ultra shortcut. You are now able to do this out of bounds skip hopping over the deep end. And there's one more shortcut on the level. So we've seen two big shortcuts so far on this lap. And now we're clipping the bomb. No, I wish. Still pretty cool though. I mean, it just looks weird. Like clipping the deep water. <laughs> I love how there's like a, there's a hitbox there, like between the 
regular water and the deep water. It's just so silly. Just imagine that in real life. Like, the water gets deeper. Oh, we're going up. <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> Where's the world record? I can't find the world record. I found it. Here's the world record. Okay. This is a Waluigi Stadium 2 for 3 glitch. Bonk! Doing. And then lands it. Doesn't fall off. Looks amazing. Maybe one day we'll see a crazy quintuple hop drift instead of having to stand so many turbo to get around that corner faster. Who knows? This is a 131.987 by Hunter. I mean, I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen here. Okay, so not the best invisible wall trick. Let's see how the turn skip looks. Are we gonna see a turn skip on the world record? Okay, a little bit too much air. That looks good though, getting all the wheelies, not going for it, playing it safe. Don't blame them. I, I don't know how long it's gonna take though for there to be another two for three world record in Waluigi Stadium. But I'm happy to see it. And we're gonna see the second one right right now. And it's gotta be one of these things where he's like, oh, I'm not gonna get the world record. I might as well just go for a two for three. And he actually got it. So <laughs> insane. And the respawn, it's not even that much slower. But overall, the world record was guaranteed at this point. And this is just victory driving, the best feeling, knowing every single moment of this is going in a world record, 131.987. I don't think we're gonna see three for three anytime soon. It's gonna be two for three for a while. That is what I, that, that is my prediction. Two for three for at least five years. We're not gonna see a three for three on Waluigi Stadium. I'd be surprised if we see another two for three. And we have Justin here on Desert Hills, one of my favorite world records to watch. I remember playing this category back in the day and you know, it's overall, one of those shortcuts that because of the nature of it you're actually going slow before the clip so it makes the clip a little bit easier than other clip glitches which is nice and then also everything is stagnant once you get past the uh potaboos or the fire snakes or, or whatever they're called so on lap three that's the only time when the glitch really changes and you just have to interact with them the fire snakes a little bit it's not too bad after that you just clipping a, a wall you know it's not moving it's, it's not like the moving <laughs> trees on Mario circuit or anything like that you're not having to do it no stop and for that reason sometimes you can get in a rhythm with this glitch I remember uh, you know sometimes I make this glitch twice in a row after failing it for five minutes straight it's it really funny how it works like that but going inside the tree like that also allows you to completely skip the fire snakes altogether, and then you just have to avoid them here. And that was close. That was extremely close. That was always the scariest part for me playing the track is making the shortcut lap three and then not being safe. You don't have that relief feeling or you don't even have the nerves kick in yet. You're just in crisis mode until you get past the fire snakes because you're having to go so slow through them after you trudge through the off-road. So, I mean, this track is insane. We're at 139.90. However, it can be improved a lot because you can get lucky glitches on this track and you can shoot past the off-road entirely and probably save a couple more seconds. So I think this category will go down in the future with some shenanigans. 155.715 by Logan on BC3. This is ridiculous. Being the old world record by over a second. This is just such a treat to watch all these world records. Like how much work it must be just to find the right pixels to press what inputs and the timings of it all it, it's just blowing my mind like this glitch right here uh it's technically not an ultra shortcut that's this is one of the hardest ones in the entire video and he's gonna make it multiple times so we'll just let it run instead of uh rewinding like we have in the past so you know i mean it's not like it saves a significant most amount of time over using the mushroom however you are able to just get that little bit of off-road after the shortcut and that does save time make it worth it overall and world records are all about what's the fastest it doesn't matter how impractical it is how ridiculously tough it is how inconsistent it is it doesn't matter all that matters is what's fastest and here we go once again shroomless shortcut super tough extremely tough to just get one time in a run but getting it twice the nerves would be uh compiling at this point because not only do you have to drive still really good lines you, you also have to make the ultra or i guess it's called the ultra shortcut i think the, i don't know i'll just call it the glitch <laughs> the uh the ultra glitch there we go <laughs> yeah you know you still have to make it one more time with the mushroom so overall i mean the job's not done you have to 
still execute something at pretty high speed, it's really easy to fail this. Like, oh, oh, it's a three for three. It's a three for three? Are you serious? Wait, no, no, no. Lap one, he, he used the mushroom, right? Have I not seen this world record? What the heck? Well, no wonder he beat the world record by so much. I cannot believe it. This is a three for three. Wow. Yeah, okay, so I thought this was a two for three. I didn't even realize it was a three for three. Well, that's even more ridiculous. DK Jungle Parkway. So we were talking earlier about Outside Drift having multiple world records, how much I love that, how I think there's gonna be more Outside Drift world records in the future, and one of them is gonna be on Parkway because the world record, uh, sorry, the tool assist, the tool assist record for this track uses the, the zip zip, I'm pretty sure. And it's because of the alignment for the glitch and also the off-road stat is really nice for the end here. So I, I think we're gonna see a zip zip world record eventually. It just is gonna require you know, a lot more effort to learn how to even use the zip zip on this track and how to do the right alignment for the glitch, which, you know, they already spent so much time learning how to do this glitch on the mock bike. This game is ridiculous. This this video is really making me like put it into perspective how ridiculous this game is. I mean, just the fact that you're able to hit the horizontal wall on the sign and you can bypass the fall boundary. Normally, you can never bypass the invisible wall, but it's possible on DK Jungle Parkway. What a ridiculous run. And that one was by Invincible, 41 seconds. And it has been, it has been around for pretty much two years now. This is Logan once again, almost sub 158 on DK Mountain. This is the track that I have the most experience with by far out of all of these categories that we've been, been watching. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the same old record I watched a while ago. I don't think this track has been beaten in a while. This is a tough glitch. I mean, I, I, I have a lot of trouble making this three times, but making the Bowser Castle three, no stop, no mushroom, uh, ultra glitch, ultra shortcut, whatever, making that three times, th that, that's a whole different level. I remember on good days, I would make this like 20% of the time. And the other shortcut is something you make like under 5% of the time, maybe under 2% of the time. So it just puts it into perspective. 39.495 lap. I'm gonna make a prediction that Logan is gonna go back to this track and he's gonna set a 157 sometime this year or next year. That's my prediction. We're gonna see 157 on DK Mountain, a time I never imagined would be possible. But I mean, I really like this strategy right here. Just canceling the wheelie in midair and then getting that soft drift, wheeling, skipping part of the mountain, not having to deal with it and setting up for a really nice glitch alignment. Cause look how clean the shortcut is after the glitch, the spin drift, flawless and interesting. Holding up on the analog on the bridge, that's something I never did probably helps you with the bouncing. I imagine that's a good thing. One thing that's always really cool is the uh, the turn exiting the cannon right here. You have to be really careful with it. If you try to cut too much initially on the slope, you will get airtime and then you'll cut the turn really wide. But it always looks so funny to me now. I mean, it looks easier than what we used to have to do. I remember having to uh, hold down while wheeling and get that pull back no main trouble whatsoever, but the new method looks more consistent, it looks easier, and overall a good thing. <laughs> the wheelie button gets spammed like 100 times, that was great. Love that world record, and we have one more to watch. It is by Logan once again! And I think Logan is the only person to make this glitch. There might have been one other person to make this one. Uh, this is one of the hardest glitches in the game, and I've said that like a million times. But this one actually is a top two or three hardest glitch in the game. So look how cool this one is. I mean, there's none none other like it. Like this is the barrel roll. A full a full uh, vertical wheelie. And then you're so vertical that the bike just bounces like crazy once you mushroom. So you're actually able to, with the timing of the bounce, right, let's just watch this again. You're able to curb hop. Look at the curb hop. And then clip and holding, uh, looks like down diagonal right and then getting back to uh, full down, just like the GCN Mario Circuit glitch, which is interesting, wow, I mean, it's kind of similar. The, the amount of bouncing necessary to make both those glitches work, to get that extra height uh, is, uh, is unbelievable. And I mean, I don't know if we're gonna see this world record be in a long time. I'd imagine the motivation to beat this one be pretty low because the world record, I mean, it's already so impossible to do this glitch, but Logan's driving 
in this world record was Beast. The spear is not made for this trap. Some of these turns, you're not even able to make at all the spear. You have to do some crazy ridiculous pre-alignment on the corner before to not hit a wall. And he, ma he makes it look so easy. He makes it look like a spear track. This is the section I'm talking about right here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the spin drifts coming out and doing work right there. And then I love the strategy here, which was to hop as it levels out and then get the drift started earlier and then cut it inside and then have it to like drift to the right down the staircase. You have to take such awkward lines with the spear to even make this work. And look how wide starting to make the corner work just to get a decent enough line, just to make it look respectable. It is comical to watch this track being driven by the spear. I mean, I remember when the Parkway World Record was with the spear and that was equally as funny. Yep, I really like that strat. And then, uh, yeah, that was done much better. That, that was actually done much better than previous laps and was able to get the alignment to take the U-turn really great and, you know, get the wheelie out for an extended period of time. Let's see how this corner is in comparison. Yeah, that was a little bit tighter compared to before. And then not going for the rail shortcut. It is faster, but getting with the spear much tougher, of course. So overall, thank you so much for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what track you think is gonna have a glitch next in Mario Kart Wii.